Our devotion from Wednesday this week comes from Acts chapter 3, and it is um, verses 19 and 20. And if anything should bring us hope in these times and make us feel really good about these times, it is the scripture reading. Repent, therefore, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah appointed for you, that is, Jesus. This is a beautiful passage that reminds us that that our refreshment and our season of of just absolute calm following the storm that we've been in for so long comes at the hands of Christ. It comes because God chose and handpicked a Messiah for us. And one of the things that we talked about this week is that not only, not only are we called to know this and to get our own comfort from this message. But how much more should we be sharing this with others? So we took a poll this week and everybody was asked the question. First of all, they, there was a little discussion about what kinds of things we want to be delivered from this season. And then we took this poll about whether or not we, we have ever had our lives changed in this way by God. And everybody in the room has had, had had their lives changed by God. And then I asked the question, how many of you want other people to have their lives changed by God too? And we all raised our hand to that as well. Because in this time of frustration and desperation, we want God to reach into the lives of not just us, but everyone in our community and world who are struggling, the people we know who need God's peace the most. And because of that, we rejoice that, that God has sent us Christ. And we rejoice in the scripture reading that, um, that we will have a time of refreshing that comes from the presence of the Lord. And only the presence of the Lord can do that. But if people do not have that presence of the Lord in our community and in our world, they won't feel that time of refreshment. And so we yearn for everyone to, to know God and to feel that refreshment. And so because of that, let us not this week be scared to talk to people about how God has changed our lives and how God can change theirs too, especially in troubling times. And so the call this week is for us to go and share with people um, in our own lives, in our own community who need to hear it, that God can change this world and that God will change our world. And we can be refreshed by that hope. Amen.